But it's still accelerating. S slow down. Well, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't derail. Look how foggy that you can't even see. This is just a bridge, there's no weapon. G'day guys, I'm Joe Train, and welcome back to Derail Valley. We'll be continuing off the series on the last video did, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. Oh, that's very weird. So I look this direction, and then there's shadow, but as soon as I turn over, the sun, there's the sunset. That's something that there was need to fix. we go in the station office here. I reckon we'll do a chanting task. Uh, I don't have the long license store. Well, let's look at my licenses here. I reckon I'll buy train length. Here we go. All right, we buy that. And there we go. So we're going to try and find these um, wagons here. So I think that would be in here. Here we are. We have these ones. And then we just get into the locomotive. Oh yeah, also I did get um, the reskin mod as well. This this is a custom livery I made. This is for we have the Queensland Rail um, Golflander livery, and we have Queensland Rail um, Classic livery. But yeah, I like the look of this. It looks really nice, I reckon. And you have like on it's like on the on the grill as well. We have like the chevron on it. Anyway, so I think enough talking about the livery. I think we'll start it up now. So we just turn off all the switches. There we go. Okay. I right, apparently didn't turn it, didn't twist it for long enough. And then we will um, put this in reverse, and then we'll cut. I'll connect up to those wagons, and then we can start the um the shunting job. You know, nice morning as well. Very, very lovely. This time of day is it's all sunrise. Yeah. All right, apply the independent brake, and so I that's actually kind of useful. Uh, I is for the independent brake, the key, the shortcut, and then also the the throttle is um, T for throttle, which is that, that's useful as well. So when you're coupling up to wagons, you want to preferably the best speed to go is underneath under 10 kilometers an hour. You should be able to connect. There we go. So that's all coupled up. Okay, now we'll just bring this to the um, unloader. Oh wait, that's right. That's I forgot. Oh, hang on, stop, 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 stop. Air brake. The brakes exist. So I think it fits to the left. That means it's um not applied. So I think it, on both ends. Okay. So it's just the one brake that's applied there. Now hop back in the cab, and I'll turn on the uh, reverse lights. All right. I don't know. I think there is a um what you call it. The shop. There, I think there is a shop in this town, so I have to see um, what they're selling, and I might as well. And I'll see what if there's anything we might want to get. So I think it's over here. Well, they're always blue. Valley town bosses. All right, cool. All right, where's the map? There should be a map of. Oh, it is raining. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, you can see along the puddles as well on the road. That's cool. And they're reflections, and and it's like very, very lightly, very lightly, it's dripping. Oh, is it? I thought it was sunrise. I, apparently, it's sunsetting because it looks like it's getting darker. Um, I might want to hang on. Let me let me get back in the cab here, so I don't want to lose the train. So, off uh, next to the station, passenger train station, there is a shop. So, be somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's a shop. All right, what, what are they selling here? Shovel, lighter, pocket watch, and the bungee cat has. Oh, flashlight. That's actually important. I might. I need to get a flashlight, and I have plenty of money. There you go. I have even have receipts in this. I don't know why that would be useful, but. <laughs> actual pocket wash I don't I don't know if that's even useful but <laughs> like I can just look at my rook out the recording if I wanted to see how much time it's been taking so yeah this is this is charging it charges with the arm sun so it's a solar power powered one it's how you recharge and I just wanted to say look at the it's really really dark at night in this game obviously I'm I'll turn the um in the editing I'll turn the Fighting this up, but obviously it's really dark. I guess it's more realistic if it's dark, all right? <laughs> Look how bright this the flashlight it looks like it's going all the way to the sky. It's only very lightly raining. There's like some little specks on the window here. I like I like to actually like use the windscreen wipers or have like the opportunity to use them. All right, so now I think we're about in, and I'll just apply the brakes. 
and I want to I want to try to use the keyboard shortcuts so just to get used to um to them so I don't have to look at them. All right, there we go. And now what I'll do, hopefully they roll in the track. I might have not gone on in all the way. All right, so unloading on the steel rails. There we go, and now we can reverse. And where do we need to go? We need to go in G1S. So G is this one, that rail yard down there. So now that the wagons aren't connected, it should be a lot easier to pull all of them now. I really enjoy this game. Uh, it's just, I find it really relaxing to play this. In terms of like, um, train simulators go. I think this is like the best train simulation experience you can get in a game. Not only is it just also, oh, hang on, let me turn. We're good. If I was monologuing, um, yeah. And not only do you um, not is not only do you like drive trains and that, but like he is actually like tasks to uh, complete as well. And there's like all these industrial chains with chains with like that can join together. And I think it's really cool how it all like intermingles. And there's all like um, there's like reasons for doing stuff, right? It's not just like you drive from point A to point B. Unlike like a game like Train Sim World and a game like Derail Valley, I think it's a lot better because it's like you can um, everything has its purpose. So which one's G G1? I think it's down here, is it? Uh, we have a train. We have a locomotive in DE1. We might want to slow down here. Oh, that was from my last shunting job I did. I did some shunting off camera just to get some money. Um, let's slow down, I think. That's... Slowing down is a good idea. And we're just gonna gentle push. Okay, maybe that was a bit violent, but you know. <laughs> I'll do that, there we go. And hopefully this will be all the way in. Oh no 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 no. There's more things. There's more things. I didn't realise there was more wagons on I should have probably checked if there were other wagons. Wait, I... Wait, why is this screeching? I thought I... That's off, right? Did I break the game? It's still making the sound. Yeah, that is weird. This... This is... This wagon is like... Okay, I just exited from the game and that seemed to fix it. But yeah, that was that wagon was possessed or something. That was very strange. It was making the sound, anyways. Um, we'll continue heading back into um into the siding here, and that should be the end of um that shunting task. I, I think that was pretty quick. Hey, what? Oh, I keep forgetting that you always have to have the handbrake on. All right, now we should be able to hand in. There we go. And who did that in nine minutes since we handed the order in? And we managed to get, oh, $13,000 from that, so that's pretty good. I have as much money as I started, because <laughs> I spent the money getting the um, long train license and the flashlight as well. I kind of, I want to drive in the day, because last episode we drew, we drive and we drove in the night time, so maybe I'll do another chanting job off camera. Oh, we can sleep. I, I remember. Sleep, sleeping exists. Here we go. Sleep. How long would you like to sleep for? You can choose how long you sleep. I don't know. Sleep. Sure, whatever. Oh, this is weird. That is some strange animation there. Alright, it's raining now. Alright, so that was three hours and it's still... It's still raining a lot heavier now and it's still night time. Um, I'm out. I'll sleep. I'll sleep for another three hours, I reckon. There's no... I've actually looked, if we go into... It's like a horror game and you look at darkness. Yeah, we turn the flashlight on. Um, yeah, if we look at the train sheds here, none of the... We don't have any of the new trains in the sheds, unfortunately. So I don't, I don't know where they are. We're supposed to find them. And also they updated this, like, they added, like, the red lining. The wheels are red as well. Oh, that's cool. It, like, makes the, like... The sound of the rain is different, not like the corrugated steel. That's like a cool feature. The next day. There you go. And now we'll hand it in. Well, all right. Wow, we did that in 24 minutes. And we had like 81 minutes to spare, so that was pretty good. And it's making an annoying beeping sound. That's great as well. All right, so we made how much money? Our base payment was 13k and we made 19k 800 and now 
we should have a new job. There we go, it's city and town. So we'll bring this one and this one to city and town. Just make sure to couple up to them first. Okay, when you all right, when when you leave the aerial, it's it apparently it still makes the sound, so which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting quirk of this game when if you apply the brakes and then you leave and then you come back, it's still gonna make the the sound of the brakes. I I, wanna, I don't know where these ones are right as well. I'm gonna look for these um empty cars. Uh, that's fourteen. We're looking for 53, 52, 72. Come on, we'll be somewhere. They're all going to be coupled up, I would imagine. Oh, oh, wait, hold on a second, mate. This wasn't, um, that, that had to be disabled, that break there. I, I, these aren't even the right type of card. Oh, yeah, and also, this is another update as well. Um, you're no longer Jesus in this game. Um, so if you jump the water, you don't no longer walk on it and said you, um, you, you drown. You have infinite breath, but it's very dark, you can't see a thing. But you can still teleport in water, so this is like, you can s sprint in water. Anyways, we'll, we'll head back up here and, and stop getting distracted. And I wanna, I wanna, um, change this so it's no, it's like, no longer in between the, the two sets of wagons. So we'll set it, we'll have it going this way, and then we'll, that will have the locomotive come down here, and then hopefully we can go down there, and then um, go to the front. So we'll make sure to time this. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Um, I forgot to do... I, I, I didn't want this to go down there, so, um... Yeah, um... Hopefully, it's not damaged. Vehicle 100. Vehicle 100. Okay, we haven't... We didn't damage anything, so that's good. And this also means the train's gonna be... The locomotive's gonna be facing the, the way up the mountain. So that's gonna be good. I still wanna know where these other wagons are. But I swear, I've looked in this entire train yard. It is all the way up here, isn't it? This is it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's gonna take a lot of time to get a train up all the way over there. Oh, uh, um, that might have been damaged. Might have been damaged a little bit. I, I was going on 10 clubs now, so... I thought that was fine. A little bit of damage, all right? It's, the cargo is what is important. The cargo is not damaged, so that's the important thing. And we haven't damaged it. So, it's okay. Nothing to worry about. You know what, we, we don't have to do do concurrent jobs. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, do the, we'll just do the one, I reckon. You don't have to do multiple, we'll just do this one. I'm pretty sure this can pull up to um, this 400 tons. But just to be safe, I'll get another locomotive. You can, you'll have you. You are now in service. And look, there you go, the turntable's like a line right for this locomotive as well. It's not actually level the turntable with the rest of the track. And then I think we'll, we'll hand this in. Never mind. We'll, we'll reduce the depth and then, you know, we'll, we'll just do, we'll hand it, we'll do this. Where's my wallet? There we go. Although, that's like the one thing is that, um, as soon as you do the depth, then it applies the brakes. And it makes the train off, so. And now we can do this. Alright, freight haul. Deliver Nova shipping of burial and footwear. Imported new cars. T R A E G shipping of tooling, medicines, spare X, chemicals, and Nova shipping of electronics. Yeah. Quite the, the haulage we have here. Start you up as well, because this is going to be our assisting train. But, well, th this should really be our main train of locomotive, I should be saying. Then some, um, this is in the front. And then this this back one, if we ever need assistance, we can um, use this. Alright, this is going to be 
We're just gonna couple on the move. This is how this is going to work. It's like slowly coming up behind. Alright, now we're just gonna... It's, it's not... Okay, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Wait, can't I, can't I use this? Hang on, hold. This... Um, couple. Alright, now we are coupled, yay. So there, that was easy. Now, are you kind of cheating using the GUI, but you know, it's, it's there, so you might as well use it. And we are, we are struggling to get up this hill. So it's a good thing to get to two locomotives. So we can, they can help each other out. There you go. We could, I reckon we probably wouldn't have made it up this hill without these two locomotives. Barely but surely making our way up with the help of DL, DL4 and DL3. Um, so you don't want to overheat. You can see that smoke. It can't be getting that hot, can it? Can it? So which way do you want to go? Uh, I think it would be quicker if we just make a right here. Just go up that way, because there's more direct route to get to. Um, city southwest. Um, we are overheating. So we're, we're essentially driving a four axle um, locomotive up for this this tracks since we have four wheels. Uh, not four, uh, eight wheels altogether. And now we should be coming up upon the more level piece of track here. So we should be able to be go to, be, to get a lot to go a lot faster. And you can hear it, it's echoing as we're in the um, tunnel here. And it's very very loud in my end. And uh put the reverse lights. So even when you if flipping the switches that's echoing as well. It's gonna 80 so it says a bonus time bonus we have 83 minutes, but we should be able to do this in less than that, surely. 82, 83 minutes seems like a lot of time. Let's increase the throttle. And I don't actually have the a multiple unit license, so you can like drive them from the one cab and like controls both of them. But I think it's like more, more. I will say it's more engaging when you have to um, jump from one cab to the other because you have like more, more to concentrate on. This, this is like back in the day. I used to. This is like what I used to do in the old derail um, holidays. So just like. The, you can hear the engines like all the way um making the the sounds oh that's another feature as well when the train's passing like the bushes they like push out the way oh, it's actually a feature i asked for them to add because it wasn't very realistic when you have like all the um the trees like going through the cab slope down a bit this look how precarious this is we're like right on the side of the cliff. I'm surprised like the, the, the like if there's a landslide, this is all going to go down. And so this, you wouldn't build this close to the side of the cliff. Like the track would not sustain well. I imagine building this railway. If this was like a real, surely like back in the day, this would have been built because the harbor is probably like the mo most important place in the map. And I just noticed it's raining as well. Look at that. Those are like the raindrops, in the, even though it's daytime. So we have some day daytime rain. Uh, we can increase our throttle. Pop a new. So it says we go up to seven um, kilometers an hour on this stretch here. I think um, the junction, where's our map? Our map is four. Yeah, the junction, we're gonna have to go six. And it is very loud when we are in the tunnel. The echoing of the engines is very loud. Four. Four, 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 like swaying a lot around there as well anyway so we turn it up as now that we're around the bend we'll turn this up and we'll switch this to go this way uh, they, they have the track aligned to go straight and the curve to go right but then it goes the track like goes to the left and then it has to bend it's so weird anyways all right now that we've gone around that nerve-wracking bend we can um we'll be able to turn, go a lot faster now yeah? 
How does the horn sound in the tunnel? The horn sounds... It's more quieter than all the, the engine sound, which is really surprising. By right now we're 70 kilometers an hour now. That will have made an electric sound. I don't know what that's about. The swaying motion. Let's just like go in this this side here. Look at the swaying motion of that. As it as we go a lot faster, it seems to cool the engine a lot more as well. I just want to slow down because it seemed like we went a bit faster around that one. I think I think the speed limit is 70, isn't it? Probably. I let's just slow down. <laughs> I'm not. I'm getting kind of nervous when it's making this this scraping sound. So it's, this is this is how this is gonna work. My game is also a lot laggy. So yeah, my game is getting a lot laggier now. We're moving, moving very fast. Was there a speed limit? I I didn't see what the sign said. I'm just gonna. Sh All right. I I'm just gonna assume it's 70. And when we get past that other sign, then, then we go to um 80. This train, the suspension, it this sways so much. And it's also straining and it's daytime. Okay. Please explain. Please explain. We are up to 120 kilometers an hour, but we're not like we're gonna go that fast anytime soon. Yeah, the stretch of track isn't long enough to to stay that fast at a consistent speed. Right, we're gonna have to make two rights and then left. But I think the next the next sign is going to be 70. So I'm going to have to slow down because the next one's going to be 70. Oh, now it's a, the clouds are a lot darker in this area. Yeah. Not darker, but like more, it's more cloudy or gray clouds. At least we're able to coast a lot more going down here. I like the swaying. The swaying is really a really nice feature. It's very, it's more, much more realistic and it's like, it, it makes it feel like you're actually in the like he's actually in standing in the car. You got like the, the feeling of it like bouncing around. Oh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go down a hill, so we might wanna not do that. I don't think it actually it's doing much because we're, we're already going pretty fast, so the extra acceleration isn't probably gonna do much. All right, now we're gonna turn left after we're going down the hill. Let's apply a little bit of brake because we are going down a hill, and it is a bit of a steep hill as well. Six. 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 Oh, this is really foggy now. Can't see. Imagine there's just like another train just pops up. Like Thomas the Tank Engine just starts driving. Okay, uh, five. 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 <laughs> Sketchy. We're still accelerating. S slow down. Oh, I'm, su I'm surprised we didn't derail. <laughs> I'm thankful we didn't derail, but that was really sketchy and it's really foggy. It is really foggy. It is the foggiest in the world. Hang on, let me just. Look how foggy the you can't even see. This is just a bridge, there's no land. Anyways, let's, let's hop back in the cab. Alright, now we can, uh, we're going uphill. Oh man, this is the right way, right? Yeah, we want to go left. Where is this going? Let's just pray. And hope and pray that there's nothing in the way. Just pray that it's clear straight through. Because I cannot see a thing. Like, about like, I don't know, what, 30 kilometers? 20, 30 kilometers ahead of me? No, that's, no, that, that, that's not the, what am I saying? Not meters, yeah. Meters, that, that, <laughs> So we're gonna go through the um OWC which is the oil well central. I'll turn you off. Oh, and I'll just use this one. It's like it's lit this is a horror game. This is literally this is like the train the train version of a horror game. Like you can't see a thing in ahead of you. You just have to pray you're not gonna crash and do anything. Look at all these can very ominous looking contain tanker wagons as they're going past. Uh, that corner um just before the city is a 30 kilometer corner. So we're gonna have to go pretty slow. You know, it's always very it's good. We've gotta be on time, okay? This it's more important than being safe. Because being on time is is the more most important. And even though it's very precarious conditions right now. And I'm going to slow down. And the door is open. There we go. Imagine there's like an update they do. They just like, like horror stuff. Oh, we're already at the corner. No, no, no we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No way. No way. 
No way, no way, slow down. I'm gonna slow down. No way, we're already here. I'll slow down. No, no, no. Okay, now, now, uh, this is a good speed. That, it's that one, it's the like, one sharp bend as well. It's just that one, one. And now, well, next we gotta turn left. Ah, uh, not, not, no, not, we go straight, or we'll turn right, and then next after that we turn left. Alright, so they're telling us that there's a Y, and hopefully it should already be set to go right. I don't think the wiper's gonna do anything, because it's not really raining. They're heavy, it's just like the f it's just like fog. At least we've got experience fog now. It's like a very very different game now that there's like weather. Like there's like fog and uh, rain. That uh, very different experience. Alright, so we're, we're set to go straight ahead, so that's good. And I'll turn you off since we're like almost at our destination. Alright, now next left we're gonna I I'm not I'm not even sure what track we're supposed to be in. Um Yes. Or this one. It's gonna be one of them. Hopefully it is this one. We're going, we're gonna slow down. Slow, oh, slow down. This is C. Okay, we are, we're going in C. C, three, I. All right, that's straight ahead. So that wasn't even like, a, we just like, happened to go in the right spot that we needed to, and I wasn't even like, paying attention that much. And now that we have arrived, the fog's cleared up a lot, a lot more as well. See, it's still raining, but I was going to apply the brakes and then prepare to, prepare to halt. Alright, I think that's, that should be in far enough, is it? Alright, now we just got to find the station office in this terrible weather, which is here. Yeah, it's nice, nice and cozy in here. Alright, we've arrived. Ha! <sighs> keep forgetting that. So which one will be? We are this one. Oh, it's lightning. We haven't experienced lightning yet. That's that's another thing as well. They had lightning. There we go. And we're twenty. Only twenty-eight minutes. Pay, pay the small copay at the courier manager later. And damage fees will be clear. I didn't think we damaged it that much. So I got twenty-six thousand. It doesn't say absolutely anything about damage. What are you talking about? I mean, we did damage. Yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> the lightning is probably the one that's more likely to damage the wagon. Oh yeah, so we're here. We can even do the sh uh, like shunting here. Anyways, I think we'll wrap up the video here. Uh, let me know what else. Let me know what other things you want me to do in this game as well. And if you want to see me continue it, be sure to let me know. Yeah, I'll try. To... Uh, uh... I have to repair that. Um, yeah. yeah but I really want to see these new trains as well because we've been driving like the already existing trains. So it'd be nice to get. The drive new trains thing that will do that next episode anyways. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and lastly, be sure to join the journey with your train.